What's going on, you guys? So I wanted to catch up on a couple of burden command videos. I've missed quite a few, and uh, I figured this is a good opportunity to kind of catch up and uh, figure you guys join in. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Legal activity, how will you lead? Tell us your decision, poll follows. Okay. And this is new music from Chris Scribbs. This guy makes some really daggone good music. Let's take a look at this. I love the way he does these videos. They're really good. I would, of course, have the men at it. <laughs> All right, new combat mechanic, Undaunted. Name in honor of D. Jack Thompson, board game series, turn on audio. Nice. Okay, wow. All right. Uh, <laughs> I really like what I'm seeing. I think the biggest thing that I really like was when I saw Ardennes, knowing that we're going to play a couple of scenarios, or at least one scenario in the Ardennes is going to be epic. I love that. Uh, kind of little Band the Brothers action go going on, you know? So the other cool thing that I like is exactly what I was saying, that... As you go and, you know, you go further in the game and you gain the trust of your troops and to get more experience and you're careful with your soldiers. So you don't blindly send your, you know, company or platoon commanders directly into combat and they get killed because you, you don't want that to happen, obviously. You want to keep your men from beginning to end so they can do stuff like this where they're surrounded, they're taking fire from everything and still holding, you know. I, I think that's going to be awesome and it's going to make you behave more conservative in the beginning of the game, you know? So you want to, your troops to get that experience. So toward the end of the game, when the odds are not in your favor, well, they still are because your men have the quality. All right, and I think this is the latest one, uh, A14. I have to double check, but less polish, more frequent, schooling the AI, op fire improvements, turn on audio. 
Oh, baby, a tank. All right, so that's that's very interesting. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you in a lot of games that I've played, you know, putting the tanks out first, the AI always does that. You know, they, they see an enemy force, they, they attack it. Uh, pretty much most of the games I've played, uh, I see they're coding this to uh, teach the AI a couple of lessons. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. So we can't just throw our tanks forward to do the recon. We got to be even careful more careful because the ai can think for itself which is good which is good i love that <laughs> and i love how uh they're refining this game more and more and more i see it in the music i see it in the audio i see it in the gameplay and honestly i can't wait to get my hands on this game this i'm hoping 2021 but you know this this is oh man this is gonna be incredible man i i just cannot wait for this game to come out not only is it revolutionary in combining two genres you have the rpg and the strategy but they're also refining it so it's going to be one heck of a strategy game mixed with one incredible rpg type of game where you know you're the commander and you got you know your men's fate lies in your hands and i, I love both I, I love that it's just mm. I'm hoping 2021, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Catch you guys in the next one. See you then.